The first step in making the Prex Cinescope is to assemble our Lazy Susan. You'll need two wooden circles about 12 inches in diameter, a 9 inch long wooden dowel, and hardware for a Lazy Susan, which should be available at most hardware stores. Attach the Lazy Susan hardware according to the manufacturer's directions. Before you attach the top circle, drill a hole in the center and attach the wooden dowel with a screw. Trace a circle onto poster board using a 12 inch embroidery hoop. Cut it out, then cut out a small hole in the center. Use hot glue to attach the embroidery hoop to the poster board. Now cut a long strip of poster board that's a little longer than the circumference of your wooden circles. Mine is about 42 inches long and 4 inches wide. I'm using a sequence of 15 images taken in 1878 by Edward Moybridge from his series The Horse in Motion. I've printed them so that each image measures 2 inches by 1 and a half inches. Next I'm going to add them to the poster board. I want to space them out evenly so I'm going to leave about a half an inch in between each photo. Now we're going to attach the sequence to the embroidery hoop using hot glue. You can also decorate the outside. Now we're going to place it on top of our Lazy Susan and attach it with more glue. The next step is to cut the foam board into 12 strips that are one and a half inches by six inches. We'll also need to cut two 12-sided polygons, which are also called dodecagons, with sides that are one and a half inches each. I printed out a template and traced it to make mine. Cut a hole in the center of each dodecagon big enough for the dowel to fit through. Start taping together the foam board strips. I find it easiest to work in groups of three and tape them with masking tape. Then we'll glue the bottoms to one of the dodecagons with hot glue and secure with more tape as needed. Cut the mirrored sheets into 12 strips that are one and a half inches by six inches. Peel the backing off the strips and attach them to the foam board drum. When you're done, you'll glue the other dodecagon to the top. Now slide the drum over the dowel. Now we're ready to test it out. Use the dowel to spin the praxinoscope clockwise and watch the animation come to life. You can also spin it counterclockwise to make the animation appear to go backwards.